is going on guys skip here and welcome back to another episode in our road to glory series today we are back with some red ball cricket as the men from nottingham look to take on somerset at the somerset oval if you did join us last episode you would have seen that there have been some headaches in the leadership group haseeb hamid taking the captain's armband off the big red and ultimately making the wrong decision in the fourth innings and therefore costing the boys a valuable valuable victory you can see that we do sit third on the ladder we did play Gloucester last episode they got the win on us and look at that gap from first to third it is a long long way but Pijma I swear he's got the team on his back today he's going to put in a shift and get it done before we do get to the game, though, you can see that Pij has put himself in the draft for the upcoming 100 tournament. It's a big, big summer of white ball cricket in England, and you can see that the Trent Rockets have taken him all the way down at number four, the 85 overall, 220 centimetre beanpole gets his opportunity. He's going to have a crack at 100 ball cricket. Ladies and gents, this career has just kicked started. If you do enjoy Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll make 100 in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description. So make sure you click on in, come and say g'day, and let's continue to put cricket back on the map. So here we are, ladies and gents. Welcome to the Somerset Oval for this four-day match between Nottingham and Somerset. It's been a big, big week for the Big Red. He hasn't been given the captaincy. He sits himself down at number five. He's got through the 100 draft at pick number four. He's keeping his backside in Nottingham and playing for the Trent Rockets. And now he's been shown a green top down at Somerset. And I think wickets might might be on the agenda for today. The coin goes up. Nottingham Shearer at least win the toss. And Hasib, you absolute clown. What are you going to do on this one? There we go. He's won the toss and decided to bat. What is going on in that head of yours? Well, he won the toss and decided to bat. And I'll tell you what, you've got to give credit where credit is due. It's 122 for three as Lamanby rolls in for the first ball to Piers. He drops it short and he plays inside the line. Well, it's an interesting time to bat. The ball's still hooping. You don't know if it's going to go left or right off the surface. And Malto and Wayne are umpiring. But don't worry, because Pijman puts his third ball straight down the ground. It goes through Lamanby's legs. He's not going to pick up four, but a confident start to get off the mark. Well, Goldsworthy straight back into the attack to Pijma. You know, he struggles early doors against spin, and there is no exception. He plays inside the line by a mile. But Benny Duckett down the other end, 35 off 25. You know, everything's safe when he's there or thereabouts as Pish gets another one that just goes off the surface and finds the middle of his bat, and there's the first boundary, if you don't mind. Well, he's been confident in his stroke play and Baz Ball is starting to feed through his veins. Lamanby rolls in again. He bowls a half volley and this time he's late on it and it gets hit to Gully for no run. Well, he was tidy last match. He just got caught in the mode of trying to hit too many balls for four. Can he tighten up on this deck today? That is a putrid ball. Malto, show me your six-inch arms, brother. Get him out. Oh, come on. Goldsworthy continuing. He doesn't have that extra cover in. He's got a couple men out on the leg side. He goes wide of the wicket and Pish plays and misses. Well, just take your time, big fella. There's a little bit of purchase for the spinner here. Maybe a tacky wicket, and that is just putrid bowling. How on earth are you going to take a wicket with that? He comes in for the last of the 36, though. He's wide of the crease. Pish can't even reach that. Not at 220. And after 36, it's 135 for three. Well, his plan is to be outside the off stump. We don't mind that. It's going to find a little bit of grip, a little bit of rip. You throw your bat, and there you have it. Pishma picks up four more. Well, he's bowled about nine balls almost off the pitch. We had to have a crack at one. He now has the sweeper out. Pish goes back and he's almost been bowled. 
And just be mature about this spell. The bloke's going to make millions. Goldsworthy in, he gets a little tighter. Pishma places this down the ground to mid-off for no run. And after 38, the Outlaws are one four five for three. Louis Gregory in and over the wicket. A little bit of pace on the ball now for Pishma. He gets one on the legs and he bangs this down to fine leg. The traditional clip picks him up a picket fence. Well, it wasn't long before Jack Leach could sniff Pijma's pits and now he's into the attack. He rolls in for over number five and Pijma says, have some of that, you bald maggot. I'm going to punch you down the ground for shot of the episode so far. Well, we're keeping big Wayno busy and we have marked our intent to Jack Leach. He comes in over the wicket a little bit tighter this time and Pish steps on it and clips it to backward point. No run. Once again, just can't get caught up in this flurry of shots. You've got to be mature and make the most of it. Jack Leach gets a little bit of purchase. Pishman clips it down the ground. Oh, you don't long barrier on the boys. And he get home for two, he does. We bat deep in the crease. Leach in, Pijma forward, and he clips this out to the sweeper for one. So far, so good, ladies and gents. Strap yourself in. This bloke's got plenty in him today. Leach picks up another over. Duck at 45 off 75. He remains cautious, and Nottingham keep going about their business here. They're doing it in ones, and I'll tell you what, anything over 250 here is unreal. We continue to crawl up towards 200. Davey into the attack now as he's on a dime from round the wicket, and we punch it to mid-off for no run. Credit to Somerset. They've tightened up their bowling and Pijma's struggling to get down the other end. 20 off 41 sees him play and miss again. Well, the struggle continues. Can he hit his way out of it or does he just play the waiting game? Davey with a nice line and there you go. All he had to do was wait for the over pitch delivery. He bangs it down the ground. Benny Duckett, don't worry about it, son. It's four more. Well, he breathes a sigh of relief. He finally finds the boundary and the confidence to go with it. And like we say, one always brings two. He's onto this one on his hips. Hits it forward a square, and that concludes the 47. Thank you very much. The boys get to the 50 over mark. 190 for three. This is brilliant from the lads. As Davey comes in and Pijma steps across, clips it down to fine leg, picks up another single. 206 for three, Pijma. He's been a 31 off 57. He's been watchful as he gets a slow ball from Davey and he watches this go past his outside edge. He's got to remain in the V. The ring field goes in with two slips and the gully. Just the fine leg out. Duck it to 18. Again, he works leg side. He waits for it. He watches it. He finds the middle and he clips it all the way for four. I'll tell you what, the hard work is paying off for this bloke. He wants the captain's armband. 211 for three, gets a half volley. Oh, Jackson Davey, the ball's not going to nip left or right when you bowl at that full. 220 centimetres, a seven-metre stride, and four more runs. Well, has he hit the accelerator? I think so. Oh, he goes to Scoopy Doopy. Pijma, just pull it for six. I don't think I've ever played that shot in Cricket 22, but boy, if it's an option, we'll take it. Davey in, gets full, Pijma. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Look what happens when you play traditional cricket shots, son. I told you to strap in. The bloke gets another boundary and he moves to 43. Well, three boundaries in the over. Jackson, Davey, none for 59. The Outlaws are targeting him. He gets fuller this time. Pidge leans on it to mid-off. 55 a bold, and it's 219 for three. Well, it's been a half marathon, this. 43 off 71, duck at 81 off 130. They're just frustrating Somerset here as Pish finds the middle and he pumps it to mid-off. No run. Lamanby being the pick of the bowlers. One for 23 off his 8.5. What's he got to finish his ninth? He's in nice and tight to Pish. He hits him on the pad. The boys don't appeal. What's the point when the best in the business, Wayne, I would just shake his head anyway. Duckett eyeing off a ton. Pijma a 50. 
Leech wide of the crease. There's the full toss, and we absolutely murder it to the sweeper for one. Well, boy, oh boy, Ben Duckett has been dismissed for 98, ladies and gents. Would you read about it? He falls agonizingly close. Well, Somerset pick up the wicket that they needed. Pijma eyeing off a 50, but boy, does he need to go back in his shell. He hits this one to cover for a dot ball and maybe just a cheeky momentum swing. Well, Lyndon James walks to the crease. Jackie Leach gets full and Pijma goes fucking bang. He smashes it over mid on. Head. Thank you very much. There is 50. Well, he gets the bat up. He brings it up with a maximum and he just puts his foot down and says to Jack Leach, you're not going to settle, brother. It doesn't matter if you make or take a wicket. We are going to continue the ride. He rolls in again. Pijma gets the reverse Malacca out and he hits it to backward point for no run. Well, he's just enjoying himself now. I tell you what, we would never go over the top early career. Jack Leach now's just come in and bowled him. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It is all happening at Somerset. What a delivery that was from Leach. Just as we settle and we talk about how good this bloke is going, he gets a rip snorter. Cuts back through, he misses it, and he's off pegs out the ground. Well, I'm not going to lie, ladies and gents, that has caught me and most likely you by surprise. Ben Duckett out for 98. Pijma followed shortly after. He banged one over mid on his head, got to his 50, and a ball or two later, Jack Leach takes his measure and I tell you what I think that might be the third or fourth time Jack Leach has got Pijma in his career but it gets the Outlaws to 384 they were dismissed in the 121st over and as Hasib won the toss and elected to bat we had question marks everywhere but the boys got to work they put their head down and put themselves in a position to really trample Somerset here we're going to pick up play in the 28th over the big Red has the ball in his hand. It's 95 for four. Surely some wickets on offer for the big dog. Let's catch him out in the middle. Well, here he goes. He's had to wait 27 overs for this opportunity. Third man, fine leg, two slips and a ring. That is what he's got on offer today as his first ball goes straight through Alley and he lets it go. Well, it's a one-man band here. Ali on 58. The rest fail. Pijma in on the body of him, and he punches it to mid on no run. Big Wayno officiating this. We know he's the best in the business. Pij rolls in on the green top. He nips this one away, and Ali in behind nicely. Well, we've bowled on dust bowls the last three games. It's been tough. We haven't generated a lot of pace. So we get a little tight to Ali. He clips it down a fine leg, and there's the first runs. Pij concedes. So the last ball of the 28th. 96 for four. Pijma in to Goldsworthy. He gets him behind. He defends. Pijma has a squeeze at him and says, you're going to need to face a few more of them to get your boys back. And that they will need to do. He rolls in for the first of his second. He's on a length and Ali plays all around this. Well bowled. Well, the pace has been something that's become a little bit more consistent in this bloke's career. He's been working at the gym. How is that? He's hit the pad. Wait, no, thank you very much. Oh, yes, Salmon Trout. He stepped a little wider of the crease, and I don't know if it's hit him in line, but Wayno looks after it. He's the best in the business, and Azarelli's gone. It's five for 99. Well, if we have a look at Big Eye, you can see the angle was real. It pitched outside off it, hit him in line, and that's crashing into middle. Wayno, I'll never doubt you again. Pijma, you are a star. Well, Stephen Davies rolls to the crease. We've taken out their number one. And Pish gets short. He finds the edge. How is that one way, though? Thank you very much. We're on a hat trick. What are you doing? You are a dog way. No, he snicked it to second slip. How many times do we need to show you this Game is putrid. First ball, we find it. And Hasib Hamid, he ain't been smoking. He takes it in front of the eyes. Thank you very much. And Big Wayno shakes his head, you idiot. 
Oh boy, oh boy, we should be on a hat trick. We've been robbed. Pigeon again on the green top. This time he finds the edge. Thank you very much, Stephen Davies. Walk. What the fuck is going on? Wayno, you are a disgrace. Can we do it third time? Benja back. He gets in, finds the edge. Thank you very much. This game's cooked. Wayno's a dog, but Pigeon's got two in the over. Finally, 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 he gets in, finds the edge, he's got four in a row, technically, you put two in the book, and Nottingham are on fire. Well, six for 99, feeling fine, Lewis Gregory rolls to the crease, and Pijma is on a heater. Two wickets, one run, and a dream. What you got for us here? Big dog, he gets in tight to Gregory, and he pumps it to mid off for no run. Oh, boy. Roller coaster is an understatement. He rolls in again, finds the edge to Gregory. Oh, boy, he's got three. What can't this big fella do? No need for Wayno this time. He strolls in the swing away, the nip off the wicket. Third slip in place. A seed's taken two catches, and Gregory can quack himself off for an early shower. And this is the man we wanted. Jack Leach, you're getting a peach. 103 for seven as he gets in, trapped on the crease, and all he can do is defend. Well, this is magic stuff from the Big Red. Give him a green top and things happen. He comes into Leach. He hits him on the leg. No bat. The boys make some noise. What's the point of asking Wayne? He just shakes his head. Oh, get excited. I don't think I've taken a breath. We roll in again to the left-handed Jack Leach. He swipes, slashes, picks up one to the man at third. Well, Goldsworthy, six off 11. We've picked up three for two. We roll into him. He lets this one go through to conclude the 32nd. And Somerset are 104 for seven. Well, you can't spell this bloke. He comes in for over number four. Hasib Hamid done the job as captain here. He's a little tight to Goldie. And he clips this down to fine for one, which we don't mind at all. Somerset trailing by... Plenty. Jack Leach not going to do too much. He hits this in the air and there you go. There's another one that falls. Jack Leach, you goose. Oh boy, we pressured him. He hit this high on the splice straight to the bloke at mid-off. You don't see too many like that. And Pijma has a sniff at five. See you later, Jack Leach. It's 8 for 105. The wheels have fallen off Somerset here. I tell you what, Craig Yeoverton, he walks to the crease. Why on earth is he batting in front of Jack Leach? I don't know. I don't really care as we come in for over number four and hopefully wicket number five. Overton getting forward and clipping this to square leg. Well, career best figures for the big dog in the long format. Craig Overton can hold a bat as he gets back and he defends the last of the 34. Somerset lose another wicket. It was Overton. I thought he could hold the bat. It's not to be as we come into Goldsworthy. And can we find wicket number five? We absolutely deserve it. AI don't cook us. Pijma rolls in. He takes his fingers round it. This time he finds the edge. Goldsworthy's gone. And Pijma's got his first five. For thank you very much. It has been superb bowling. Five wickets, three runs off, 4.2. Pijma take a bow, son. Wayno tried his best not to give us any, but he stuck fat, did his thing, and continued to take them. This big fella is something special, ladies and gents. And that he is. Somerset all out in the 36th over for 106. But look at the bowling figures. Five wickets for three runs. If you've been watching this career from start to now, from middle to now, even last episode to now, he has been due this bag his whole life. Today is the day we have got there, ladies and gents. And we are putting... 
Nottinghamshire in a position to win outright and take massive, massive points in the county championship. We're going to pick up play in the 33rd over. We've had to wait a little bit, but don't stress. Somerset are 119 for four. They need 159 to make us bat again. Can Pijma continue this momentum and form? Let's catch the big dog out in the middle. Well, here he is. 50 first class wickets and a dream. He rolls into Goldsworthy, six off 12. Can he find the edge again this time as he's full, fast and flat? And Goldsworthy defends nicely. Well, he absolutely got the field right last innings. Hasib took catches at third slip. Can we do it again as Goldie goes back and there's just a little bit in this wicket. Six wickets to win. They're not going to make the runs no way. Pishma just wants another bag. This time he gets full. Goldsworthy hits through the line to mid off. We've still got Wayno umpiring at our end. We slagged him off first innings. He didn't look after us as we go. Short and sniff Goldie's pits. We gave Wayne no other choice other than just pull the finger out and give it. As we come into the left hand of Lamb and Beanie, lets this one go across his body. It was the change of angle in the run-up that did it for us. We're going to do it again this time. We push in. Oh, and we beat the bat. That is a rip snorter. Oh, boy. Blink and you'll miss it. This bloke is absolutely on fire today. As he goes in again, Lamb and be hitting this one high on the splice for no run. Yet to concede a run. Ten balls into this spell. Lamb and be looking okay. Oh, 56 this time. He swings. The ball goes with him. We make some noise. Wayno shakes his head. Well, this is a clinic. Look at the outswing. We roll him for the last of our second. Lamanby goes back again, concludes the 35th, and Somerset in reply are 120 for four. Well, it was about now where we started to really unfold Somerset. We get a little straight to Goldie. This time the inswinger doesn't work. He clips it off his hips and will open the scoring off Pijma's bowling. Just got to stay disciplined. Outside the line of off, we'll do it as we find the edge. This time it trickles down to Hasib at third man and the boys get through for one. Well, maybe signing that contract at the Trent Rockets has just given him what he needs. He comes into the left-hander again and he combats the swing, steps across and off stump and plays it to mid on. Hasib showing full faith. Pigeon for his fourth. Yet to take a wicket, but he is almost there. You can just smell it. Goldie clipping the first of his fourth off the legs for one down a fine leg. Lamanby 61 off 99. He's gone right here as he plays and misses. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, maybe we've used all our luck in the first innings. We roll in again to Lamanby. Gets on the back tied. Plays it through extra cover. That's a fantastic shot. It's not going to go all the way, but the boys come back for two. Interesting times. 3.3 bold. Slower ball finds the edge again. Hasib doing his work at third man. Do we just put a gully in? I've pulled the trigger. Third man's come up to fifth slip. Hasib have another catch. We get full this time. Goldsworthy steps across. Has to invent a new shot, and he clips it through forward square for a couple. That's going to conclude the 39th, and maybe Pishma's spell. It's 135 for four. Well, it did conclude his spell and Pige was made to wait a long time. 270 for eight as he comes back into the left hand of Lamanby, who's still there on 136. Rouge. Somerset still trail by eight. Can we pick up two and not have to bat again? Pish Marin and Lamanby pushes this to mid off no run. Well, another wicket falls and Pijma remains on zero wickets. It's nine down and I tell you what, the outlaws can smell it. Somerset trail by six. Lamanby clips this in the mid wicket, picks up a couple. But we're going to give... Lamb and be a single. Can we just bowl it on his toes? We do, and he clips it nicely. He doesn't get all of it, and he's going to play cat and mouse as he comes back for two. Oh, that's disappointing, man. Well, we're going to get one look at Davey here. Can Pige clutch up? Somerset trail by one. Davey gets the hands out, flicks it to mid-off, and after 79, Somerset 277 for nine. Well, the boys are forced to bat again. We're going to get two looks at Davey here. Can we lengthen him up and take him to the sheds? This time we can't. No run. Well, we can have five goes at Davey here. We get a little bit wider to Wayno. Can we come in, try and hit his pads that we do, and we trap him on the crease? You just got to finish him off like Alana Rhodes documentary. Come in, find the edge, and it squirts out to point no run. 
and finish it off they do the outlaws win by 10 wickets and what on earth is this that blonk goes and gets player of the match johnny sins on the camera how on earth can you go and accept that pishma has gone and taken five for made 50 your team's been pants by 10 wickets and oh my days i have nothing else to say that is pure disappointment Appointment from a selfish point of view. Ladies and gents, Nottinghamshire chasing down the 37 required in the 10th over of the second innings and absolutely smashing Somerset off the park. Benny Duckett, Pijma Pant doing the job in the first innings. We, we chose to bat on a green top. Well, Haseeb chose to bat on a green top. We put our hard hats on. We went to work, got 380 on the board, and it was the Pijma Pant show from then on in. In five for three. Don't worry about me. We rolled them for 106. Pick up sticks. Somerset 314 in their second dig. And that was all she wrote. The complete bowling performance from the Red Dog. Well, we are going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. It was a successful one. The things you love to see. We didn't have to bowl on a dusty one. We finally got a green top and we showed the rest of the world what the big man can and do if you have enjoyed it make sure you hit that thumbs up button leave a cheeky comment down below make sure you come and check us out in our live streams as well but until the next time ladies and gents look after yourselves and those around you and i'll catch you in the next one